In this video, I'm going to show you how to open up multiple instances of a Mac software. And in this video, I'm going to show you this demonstration using Audience Analyzer. But this can apply to any software on your Mac. So the first thing we need, we need to do is we need to get access to your terminal window. And the best way to do that would be at the very top right of your Mac, you'll see this little magnifying glass. Just click that and you'll bring up the spotlight search and in here type in terminal. And then the first one that comes up will be your terminal. You click that. And it should come up or double click and you got the terminal. Now if you want your terminal, like if you want an icon on your desktop to the terminal, which I love doing, um, let me show you how to do that. So I'm just going to delete this out by going Command Q to close it. Sorry, not delete, close it. What you want to do is bring up your Finder, and let's go to your Applications folder and scroll down and go to Utilities, and you're going to see the Terminal window right here. Now to make a shortcut for any app, anything really on your Mac, what you want to do is you hold down the Alt key, which is your Option key, and the Command key, which is right beside it on both sides of your keyboard. So let's hold them down at the same time, and then you left click the Terminal app, and then you drag it onto your desktop, and let go, and there is your alias, or shortcut. So now that we have it on there, you can double click it and bring up the the actual terminal window. So what we need to do is put a command into the terminal window to open up multiple instances. Now it's really simple so you don't have to worry about it. I'll explain it to you and once you remember it uh, you'll never forget it sort of thing. But one thing we do need to know, we need to know the name of the app. So in your application folder you go and find the app that you want to open and like I said this case I'm going to do the audience analyzer example so I'm going to open up my finder again and go to applications and where is it now? Audience Analyzer. Where are you hiding? There it is. So you see it's Audience Analyzer with no spaces or nothing, just all one word. So you need that. And what you want to do to open up multiple instances is first you have to type the word open, O-P-E-N, and then a space, then a minus sign, then a letter N, which means new. So you want to open up a new window space minus sign a which means you're opening up an app space and then a double quote which is you hold down the shift key and hit the double quote key which is right beside your return key on the left and then type the name of the app in this case it was audience analyzer all one word audience analyzer and then close it with another double quote and hit enter and it should open up and there we go. We got one open and then all you do is just put this off to the side and put your mouse in there and just hit the arrow key up, the up arrow key and it should come back again and hit enter and you can continue doing that to open up several versions of the window and so here we are and so for this particular software it takes a while to do certain things in it so let's just connect them to Facebook. So this comes in handy for this particular tool. Let's say, you know, we're searching a keyword here. Search Wikipedia. Searching books. I'll say here we will search for a thousand sites. search engines. So as you can see this is really handy for making your work a lot faster if you're using Audience Analyzer or any Mac software it doesn't matter and you gotta wait for it to do its sort of thing. Well it's nice if you can open up a whole bunch of versions of that window at the same time and this is how you do it on your Mac. And that's basically what I want to show you. Actually what you want to do if you want to sort of not write this out all the time you want to save it one thing I like doing is you can just grab this, right? Right click and copy. Then you can just create a text file. 
So just create some notes, user notes, I guess, or maybe use pages or something like that, whatever you got. I'm not a Mac person, to be honest, so it wants me to open up just a blank one here. And you paste that in there. Then you can just save this file on your desktop, and then whenever you need to get um, open up a certain program, like say you have another one that you like opening up quite a bit. Let's think of another one we can open. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. Calculator. So then whenever you want to use that one, control C, control V, and then of course you, there's no point in having multiple calculators open, or maybe it does, I don't know. But anyhow, I just want to show you that how to do that. And that's basically how you open up multiple instances of a software program on your Mac computer.